Hey everybody, it's Jill for today, and I am in the kitchen making sweet potato bread. I had some sweet potatoes left over, and I said, heck, why don't I make some bread? So we're going to do that this morning, and uh, it's a pretty straightforward, quick bread recipe, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, we have in this bowl, I'm going to refer to my notes, we have three cups of whole wheat flour, and to that I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of baking powder. It calls for one teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon allspice, and one teaspoon cinnamon, which I don't have other than the cinnamon, so I'm going to kind of wing it today. I'm going to use a um, teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I have this allspice, it's a pie spice, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and try that. So I'm going to throw about a teaspoon of half of that in there. And then I have a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm going to go ahead and combine that with just a whisk just to make sure everything is well combined there. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. And then to this bowl, I'm going to add two cups of mashed sweet potato. I baked these because I think baking, first of all, makes a sweeter potato. But you could certainly boil your potato if you chose or microwaved it, probably would do. So I have two cups of potatoes, and that actually was two, two potatoes. Just nice sized potatoes, so that worked out really well because that's because that's what I had left. And I'm just going to make sure that is well mashed in there. Okay, and then comes three eggs, and of course I'm using uh, flax seeds today, made flax seed eggs, and I'll put that in the recipe when I put it down um, in the comment section about what actually goes into a flax seed egg. It's water and um, and flaxseed. It's a wonderful little recipe. We have a teaspoon of vanilla. And I give it, I'm just going to give it just a dribble more because I like vanilla in my stuff a lot. Okay. It called for three cups of sugar, which is like, you know, out in nowheresville. So I'm putting in a half a cup of maple syrup. And that may come back to bite me if there's not enough actual dry ingredients that the sugar would represent, but we're gonna take a, take a try on that. There's no oil in here, so that's nothing to be concerned about, and that's a nice little benny. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together. Get that potato and eggs and the syrup all combined. here. Okay, that's coming together really well. All right. And now we're going to add the I'm going to add the powdered mix, the flour and all of that. And the one thing about quick breads or muffins or any of that type of uh, thing that's got the baking powder and the baking soda is you do not want to over mix it. You want to mix it till it's just really well combined. And that's that's about it. To get that flour all mixed in there. This is a dry batter. Wow. Even without that sugar, I was concerned that it was going to be too loose. And now we've got a very stiff batter. But that's okay. It's a quick bread. I'm, I'm going for it. And we'll see how it turns out. I always love little experiments. This was a recipe, of course, that I, I found. And then I had to do the, the Jill for Today tweak on it. I love to take recipes and kind of just, you know, make them my own. All right. And then I have a cup of pecans, chopped pecans, that I'm going to add to this. Get those mixed in there well. Make sure I get all that flour off from the bottom, which I am. 
Okay, this looks good. I don't want to don't want to sit here and beat it. Just want to get it mixed. And then I have two loaf pans. And I'm going to divide this between the two loaf pans. It's heavy, is what it is. These are approximately, I think it's eight by four. And I don't like these pans too much because they're not, um, you know, Teflon coated or uh, coated with anything that will help them release. So I really gave them a good spray. Hopefully that will be enough to keep them from sticking. Spatula. Okay. All right, we're going to scoop out the rest of this. Pat, pat it down here. like to call these things experiments in terror because you don't know how they're going to turn out and um, not adding the oil and using flaxseed instead of a regular egg you know all these are variables certainly and the fact I did not put the three cups of sugar in there and opted for just the um, half a cup of maple syrup so all those all those need to be taken into consideration when trying new recipes and sometimes I like to actually perfect the recipe and then if I decide to do a, a video on it that's what I do but I didn't this time so we're experimenting together so this is going to go into a 350 degree oven it's going to cook for approximately an hour and we'll do the clean toothpick test and we'll see how they turn out so we will see you in an hour Okay, we're back, and these came out of the oven. They did not take an hour. They took about 50 minutes, and um, here they are. I have a feeling I'm going to have problems getting these out of the pans. Now, I let this cool, ouch, about 10 minutes, and it's still very hot on the bottom. So we're going to see how this goes. Ta-da! Yay! I said, oh no, that's not going to come out. It, it, yeah, it's not too high. So if this tastes good, I probably next time would make it, but do just, just a one pan instead of a two pan. There we go. That was a concern. Okay, so these are uh, ready to cool completely, which I will do. They smell divine. I have to say they smell totally divine. And you can see... I don't know whether you can see or not. There's little bits of potato in here. And I used a whole wheat flour and I ground it with my um, Nutrimel pretty fine. But it does have a nice texture here. It'll be divine to try. And I will have uh, the director and I will both try it here in a bit. So we're going to let it cool and we'll be back. Turning us on here. He's scooting. No, I told you you can't find you can't, so we're here. I don't know why you can't zoom. Okay, we're here. We're here. You want to show your bread? Here's the bread. Didn't rise a lot. No, it didn't. In fact, right. I know that if I did it again, I would just make one. You know, the other thing, too, is I think it needed a little milk. Hmm. Uh, you know, almond milk. I think it was just too dense, and it, it well, didn't have a chance I've to rise. I've been smelling it for the last half hour. Okay, it's now just... do you want an end piece? Oh, yes. He wants an end piece. It... Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, you have to show that. Got a piece of, of sweet, potato. sweet potato in there, mm. and there's some uh, pecans in there. Now, do you want butter or would, margarine, or do you I want like cream a cheese? Little margarine. A little margarine. Okay. On one end, and maybe a little cream oh, cheese. Oh, okay. On the other. All right, we can do that. Here's your little. <laughs> when this lady says a little margarine, she means. <laughs> he it. hates it when I make him toast in the morning. He says, "I say, do you want me to make you toast? No, no, no. Don't you? I'll make the toast." Because he knows that he can get away with food police. He, the fat police. He does call me the food police. Look, if I was, if you were left to your own devices, I'd be dying with the hippos. Here, got it. No, wait, wait, wait. You, you covered my butter with oh, cream cheese. Oh, you'll live. Hold on there. You see the butter, Dan? 
do you want me to love you forever? Yes. Okay, then you're going to eat that much. Besides, I don't think you've been missing any meals, quite frankly. Okay, neither have I. What does that neither mean? have I. Huh. Neither have I. Okay, mine's got cream you know. cheese. All right, I'm going for the butter end first. Mmm. Mmm. The times. Wow. You know, that sour cream's overpowering on this. Is it? Mm hmm. I mean, I want to taste the bread. Mm hmm. Of course, it's very reminiscent to a pumpkin. Mm hmm. Yeah, sour cream does kind of overpower it. But the bread itself is delicious. It's cream cheese. That bread rocks. I mean, cream cheese. That bread is delicious. Mm -hmm. Here's another piece of little. I won't mm -hmm. put butter. There's no oil in this. It's fat free. Wow. Just the nuts. And it puts, I put a little. Now I'm, I'm getting, oh, now I know why I'm getting the sweet potato flavor. It is, there's a you chunk of sweet, sweet potato. potato. Uh, no, mm -hmm. no oil. And it wow. called for three cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar. Oh. And I said, no, that's not, no, that's not going to happen in my house. Mm -hmm. So I put a half a cup of maple syrup in it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it well, needed. That, hmm? You know, sweet potatoes, maple syrup, pecans. It's kind exactly. of a fall thing. Mm -hmm. Although it's spring. Which I can't wait for. But Oh, this is good. Yeah. Very this good. is very Excellent. good. Mm -hmm. One adjustment I would make would be a little milk in it to make it rise. Yeah, I think just to give it some light. Okay. The bread, the uh, texture of the flour is good. Everything's mm -hmm. excellent. Mm -hmm. I did pretty good. Yeah, you did great. I didn't wing it, but boy, did I mess around with that recipe that I had. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to have... Well, he's going to... Here, I'm have the person. rest of my bread. No, no you don't want that? Well, who's going to eat this? Is this going to go to waste? Nothing's going to go to waste. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.